Thanks, Jack. I've had a wonderful evening. This is where you live? <laughs> yep, this is it. Come on in and have a cup of coffee. I want you to meet my aunt and uncle. Well, I, uh, I guess I could walk you to the front door. <laughs> Change your mind and come in. I, I don't think so. It's pretty late. What's the matter? Lose your keys? No, I probably just left them in my other purse. Oh. Why are you whispering? I don't want to wake your folks. Oh, don't worry about them. They're always up all night. <laughs> Place again. You know you're not supposed to sit in a draft. I'm having fun. Eddie, don't talk fresh to your mother and come out of there. Now, you be a good boy. See? Mommy sewed the ear back on your woof woof. <laughs> Gee, I don't want to go to bed yet. It's still dark out. Eddie. You will do as you're told. No, oh, you always pick it on me. You never holler at Marilyn that way. Just never you mind about Marilyn. You must remember, she's not as fortunate as the rest of us. <laughs> now you get on up to bed. And don't forget to close the lid. <laughs> night, Eddie. I just came down to say goodnight. You got home early, dear. Uh, did you have a nice time? <laughs> yes, I guess so. Would you like a little something to eat? I have some warm lady fingers in the oven. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt Lily. Night, everybody. Good night, Marilyn. Night, Grandpa. 
the night, darling. Marilyn. I hope you're not going to start that again, Herman. Well, she's your niece, you know. She's your sister's kid. Nobody on my side of the family ever looked like that. It's just one of those unfortunate things that happen. Poor dear. I wish she'd get married. We could use some fresh blood in this family. We'd all like to see her get married. But she just doesn't seem to be able to hold a man. Well, if you don't do something about it soon, we'll have her on our hands forever. I have to do something about it. Why always me? It's enough I have to go out and scare up the rent every day. You think you're the only one who works hard? How would you like to have to clean nine rooms in a dungeon every day? Not the arguing. There's enough noise in here to wake the living. Grandpa, we just don't want to see Marilyn end up an old maid. Oh, all right. I'll take care of it. I'll get her a suitable boat. You? How are you going to do it? Well, don't you worry about it. Why, in the old country, whenever we needed a man, didn't I always manage to dig somebody up? <laughs> I, I, I thought he was going to get a fan down there. <laughs> No, not now, Igor, please. Go away, go away. Not now. Poison apples? Poison bananas? Poison fruit salad, poison enchiladas, <laughs> poison TV dinner, <laughs> poison. Now, why are you showing me poisons, huh? Can't you understand English? Potions, I said, potions. <laughs> Love potion, please. <laughs> Thank you. There it is. <laughs> to win the love of man or maid, quaff this potion unafraid. To have the lover of thy choosing, shake the bottle well, eh, you see. <laughs> now, first thing to do is I, yes. Uh, Sit in a cup of powdered whale heart. <laughs> A teaspoon of nightingale tongue. Uh-huh, uh-huh. A pinch of hexachlorophene. A touch of Frank Sinatra. Now, for the secret ingredient. A woman's tears. Ooh, that's mighty powerful stuff. Just get Marilyn to drink this potion. Why, every man who sees her will fall in love with her. Oh, I tell you, if this stuff turns out half as good as the batch I made for Elizabeth Taylor, <laughs> why, that Marilyn will be irresistible. <laughs> Oh, yes, it's me, all right. I thought it might be 
them. <laughs> Since they moved in, one has to be prepared for anything. Oh, you don't have to tell me, Mrs. Cribbins. Smell this. What is it? Garlic. Wards off evil. Does it work? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Keeps their kind away. Yes, well, I can understand. Why? Uh, I mean, did you ever see the wife? She's not exactly what I'd call a live one. Mm, you can say that again. And the one they call Herman. He has a kind of body you expect to see fall out of a closet. And this was such a nice neighborhood until they moved in. Well, I suppose there's no use putting it off any longer. I've got to deliver a package over there. Oh, uh, by the way, oh, what are those workmen doing out in your backyard? Installing an electric fence. Well, those monsters are not running me off my property, but I don't want them wandering over here, if you know what I mean. Keep them in their place. That's the ticket, Mrs. Cribbins. <laughs> Morning. Morning. What's that? Oatmeal. Ooh, oatmeal. Blah. <laughs> Why can't we eat like we did in the old days? Oh, uh, is this Marilyn's bowl? Yes, of course. She always sits there. <laughs> Might as well start without them. Yeah, no, I, uh, I don't feel so hungry right now. I think I'll grab something later in the laboratory. Yeah. Grandpa, you know you're not supposed to smoke before breakfast. <laughs> morning, Aunt Lily. Good morning, dear. I'm late, I gotta run. I'll grab a cup of coffee at the school cafeteria. Oh, very well, dear. Uh, try not to get home before dark. Bye, dear. <laughs> oh, dear, everything's ice cold. Morning, Mom. Morning, Eddie. Morning, dear. Good morning, dear. Isn't Marilyn coming down to breakfast? Oh, she's already left. Oh. Well, that's just as well. I wanted to speak to you about her anyway. Oh, you mean about her problem with boys? Yes. You know, Lily, I think it's partially our fault. What do you mean? Well, maybe we should try and be more friendly with people. You must admit that ever since we moved into this house, we've hardly had anything to do with the neighbors. <laughs> they must think we're terrible snobs. <laughs> if we don't make an effort to be a little bit more friendly with the people in this community, we're never going to attract any young men to this house. Well, for Marilyn's sake, I'll try. Good. That's the spirit. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. never looked more lovely. Strange. I was just thinking how particularly handsome you looked this morning. Is anybody going to say how lovely I look? There's someone at the front door. Well, whoever it is, try and be a little bit more friendly. Hmm? Of course. <laughs> oh, if you're looking for me, I'll be out back watering the weeds. <laughs> yes? Um... <clears throat> A package, uh, uh, sign here, please. Thank you. Well, hello there. I'm Mr. Bloom, your postman. Mind if I ask you a question? Not at all. Do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> It's going to 
be much longer. Oh, uh, uh, may I? May I be of some assistance? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bloom, please. Call me Warren. Warren, please. Call me Tiger. <laughs> Ooh, I must look a fright. Oh, not at all, Mrs. Cribbins. You land. After all, we are neighbors. All right. Yolanda. My friends call me Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo? What is it, darling? <laughs> I can't understand the way that mailman carried on. Perhaps I used too much perfume. <laughs> and that Mrs. Cribbins. The way she went for me. Maybe I just came on too strong. A little bit of that old monster charm goes a long way. <laughs> I can't imagine what he sees in me. After all, I'm not exactly a schoolgirl anymore. Are you kidding? Oh. Why, Lily, <laughs> you're as lovely today as the day I married you. Oh, and you're just as handsome. You know, they just don't make men like you anymore. Come in. Will somebody please tell me what's going on around this madhouse? What are you talking about? Hmm, what am I talking about here? I'll show you. Come with me. Can it be the trees that trees with rare and magic perfume? It's Tiger. Oh no, it isn't the trees. It's Warren Bloom. Poor devil. Yeah, you'd better go down there and straighten him out. No, I'll straighten him. No, no, Grandpa. I'll go down and talk to him. Oh, and Herman, you might as well go over and have a little talk with Mrs. Cribbins. She's been calling every ten minutes. Oh, and whatever you do, let her down easy. Be kind to her. All right. But don't expect too much. Uh, uh, the woman's mad about me. Mrs. Cribbins, hello there. I was just on my way over to see you. Oh, you naughty boy, you promised to call me you, you. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Hmm. Feeling better, Mr. Bloom? Oh, yes, dear me, yes, much better. Now that you're here. Oh. Well, now, Mr. Bloom, that's just the sort of thing I want to talk to you about. Now, you really must have Turn turned it on yourself, Mr.
Everybody, please get that door. <laughs> Respect for old age. <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa, I forgot my key. No, I'm not surprised. Nothing that happens around here surprises me. Oh, uh, incidentally, how did your date go tonight? I think this one really likes me. He's asked to see me again. Of course. That stuff never fails. What stuff? Oh, just a little something I put in your oatmeal this morning. <laughs> Love potion makes you irresistible. But, Grandpa, I didn't have any oatmeal today. Well, don't worry. I'll mix up another batch for you tomorrow. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Grandpa. Don't you see? This means he likes me for myself. Well, 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 even so, uh, uh, a little magic now and then never hurts. Grandpa, there's more than one kind of magic. <laughs> Marilyn didn't get it. I wonder who did. I love you. I think I better go to my room. <laughs> that stuff's gonna wear off and it's gonna be any second now. <laughs> darling, darling, I love you, my darling. I love you with every fiber of my being. Je t'aime, chérie, je vous adore. I got rid of it. <laughs> I don't like the way you're laughing, Grandpa. Just how did you get rid of it? Why, you threw it over the fence into Mrs. Cribbins' garden. I think I got her right in the cabbages. <laughs> it was very nice of you to come over this evening, Mr. Bloom. Frankly, since that terrible experience, I've been afraid to be alone. Well, it was very nice of you to ask me, Mrs. Cribbins. We bachelors don't get a home-cooked meal very often. Well, I hope you enjoy what I've cooked, Mr. Bloom. Well, I'm sure I will, Mrs. Cribbins. Would you like a sniff, Mr. Bloom? Well, what is it, Mrs. Cribbins? Corned beef and cabbage. The cabbage right out of my own garden, Mr. Bloom. <laughs> Yo, yo, call me Tiger. Well, I guess it takes all kinds of people to make a world. <laughs> Thank you.